Merci, M. le Président. Dans sa politique d'appui à la recherche et développement, le rapport Jenkins dévoilé hier confirme que la stratégie d'innovation de ce gouvernement est en échec. Ce gouvernement a la pire performance parmi les principaux pays industrialisés pour l'investissement public direct en recherche et développement. Ce gouvernement est parmi les derniers dans le nombre de brevets produits. Il est dernier dans le nombre de diplômés en doctorat et parmi les derniers pour la contribution financière des entreprises à la recherche et développement. Qu'est-ce que ce gouvernement va faire pour enfin corriger cette situation lamentable? Speaker, as I've uh, just mentioned, we did launch an R&D panel to review all of the government's uh, programs that encourage businesses, small businesses, large businesses to do more research and development. The panel uh, reported yesterday. It's a great report. We're looking at it. It's a very serious issue for Canadians. We're going to give it very serious consideration. We will improve the quality of life of Canadians because that's what we want on this side of the House. For Burnaby, New Westminster. Well, on this side of the House, Mr. Speaker, we believe in research and development and sound industrial policy. On that side of the House, the facts speak for themselves. This government's failed on patent development. They failed on supporting PhDs. They're pouring billions into blind corporate tax cuts and costly tax credits that have failed to stimulate research and development. And Canada is last in direct R&D public investment among all industrialized countries. Will this government commit now to increasing direct R&D public investment? We've said it. The reports are saying it. When will this government do the right thing?